Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that I just found Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Life Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, we are here today in Frederick, Maryland. We are back at the Frederick Goodwill. The last time we were here, we had tremendous luck. We met some really fantastic people. And I decided that even though it's only been a week, we need to come back here. So we're back. We don't have Andrew with us today, but we are here to search and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Oh, what are those down there? Those look like the Homer Laughlin plates that I bought a few years ago. These are Royal e Tudor Bouquet Grindley by Grindley. Interesting. I had purchased some, I think they were Homer Laughlin. Maybe they weren't. Maybe they were Taylor Smith. I, I don't know. I, I purchased some um, floral blue plates that I absolutely fell in love with at the Goodwill. And they were similar. They were very similar to these. Um, but I, they're not the same. This is a fun piece. A Amy Wilder Ceramic jar, Treat Jar. Unfortunately, it's missing its lid. So that's not going to do us very much good without a lid. That is. Oh, my phone's ringing. Oh, hey, look at that little cup right there. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that I just found it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, what is it? It is a it's kind of a glass little cup, but not just any cup. It's the pattern on the cup that I'm super excited about because. It's the kitten's pattern. And Andrew actually found a little dish at the flea market last year, or the year before, he brought it home for me. It's a pretty rare pattern and he, he gave it to me and I'd never seen it before. And that was the only time I had ever seen it. And here we've got the same pattern, it's $3.49. It's cobalt carnival glass. I almost wonder if it's a child's cup. It's also possible that it could be a punch cup, but I, I don't think it is. I think it's a child's cup. But finding that on the shelf is just, what What are the chances? It's just sitting there. And I almost walked right by it. I thought it was metal. It's literally on the shelf with the metals. So, there we go. Now my phone is really ringing. All right, these guys were here the last time we were here and they're super cute. Anderson, South Carolina, they're little souvenir pieces and they are very cute. So is this little elephant. I don't know if that's intended maybe for incense. Not entirely sure on that. We've got the little piggy back here. It's kind of a cute pig. What is it for though? Is it a salt pig? It could be used for salt. Is it wood? No, it's resin. This, oh my gosh. Yes, I've seen this before. This is good. Two forty nine. dollars I mean, it's not outstanding, but it's good. It's a good piece. So I think we're gonna stick that in here. See, there's still stuff to be found on the shelves. We're super late today, by the way. It's like, it's five o'clock. And I was a little nervous thinking we're not gonna find anything, but um, we're still finding stuff. So feeling pretty good about it, actually. And I see this shoe is still here. Everyone was saying I should pick this up for Dagny. I don't even, I don't even know if she'd really know what to do with it. She'd be like, oh, a shoe. Thank you, Jocelyn. <laughs> oh, this is a shame. Broken figurine. Carnage in the back there. A little bit more carnage. This is Royal Adderley. No, this is uh, Staffordshire. Broken petals on that. All right. This back here, I think I picked this up the last time we were here. This kind of looks like moss. But it's just real, it's not super quality, and so I think that's why we left it the last time. We're gonna leave it again. Am I in your way, honey? Oh, no, you're fine, you're good. <laughs> All right, let's check out this pile of plates here. Because it looks like there might be some good ones there. I kind of like the pattern on this one. MNC Austria. I thought maybe there was some moriage on it, but there is not. And I almost missed this guy. Don't know how that happened. Um, $2.49. It's 
It's Relpo, but there is a chip on it, so because of the chip, he's going to be left behind. That's plastic. That, I already got that point last week, so it doesn't count. These little guys are cute, aren't they? They're really cute. There we go. All right, let's check out these mugs and see what we've got here. Not really seeing a whole lot in the mugs. This one looks nice. This is a nice pottery piece. It's heavy and it is actually signed on the bottom. What is that, 73, 93? Can't really read it, but it's a good quality heavy mug. But I don't know, I just don't see like a tremendous resale value in it, so I'm going to leave it. I'm looking to see if there is anything else. As Andrew pointed out last week, having them upside down like this really helps to see the bottoms of them. And you can see the markings right away. And I kind of like it like that. What is this one back here? Gibson, I kind of like that it's just got a dot on it. Dot. <laughs> Today is the yellow tag. Oh, look at this. This is a fun one. I guess it's a wine glass. Kind of a fun wine glass. Are these supposed to be cats? I think they are supposed to be. They're headless cats. There's two headless cats here. They're matchy matchy. I believe these are just Serrano glasses. I like the ones that are purple and, and blue. I'm not really a fan of the clear and blue, as crazy as that sounds. Do you see it? I know you do, but I'm not gonna go for it right away. I'm gonna give someone else a chance before I go there. We'll see if somebody else grabs it. Somebody else takes the chance. Classic Coffee and Tea Company. These are fun, I kind of like this. My mom had this Fultz graph for like my entire childhood. That's why I don't hate the Fultz graph. I tell you this all the time. Those are nice. Oh, look, see, Fultz graph. I don't hate it. I don't. I really don't. All right. All right. I'm going to go pick up. I'm going to go pick it up now and check it out. Okay. Here we go. The price on it is $14.50. Fifty cents, and I don't think there's enough room there for me. It's a real, it's a really nice shape, really great shape, but I mean, and I don't know, if, I don't know the Pyrex that well, but I just feel like that's beyond me. I do like those teacups, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, look at that! Oh, that is fun. I would actually use this. Totally, absolutely. I have one that I'm not really that fond of and I just use because it's functional. This one will replace that one because I love the colors of it. I'm gonna check this guy down here. Check it and see if it is Mackenzie Childs. What does it say on the bottom? Gibson, it is Gibson. So probably not. This is a nice one though, I do like that. It's very lightweight. Oh, it's marked love. It's mom on Christmas, 1944. That's really sweet. Look at that one right there. I like the looks of that one. Once these people move, I will check it out. These are really cute. I don't think they're terribly old. 70p, oh, 70 pence, maybe? I don't know. Are they English? Ginger. And um, what's the other one? The other one is oregano. I wish we had some other ones, but I will take ginger and oregano. I gotta move. I'm trying to get down the soil. actually super crowded today and I'm struggling a little but I'm hanging in there really want to go down that aisle Oy. all right 
we made it down the aisle. And I wanted to check this out. Turn it over, look at the bottom. It says Studio Nova, so that's not, not what we're looking for, unfortunately. And I've got more of my mother's vault scrap. <laughs> pepper grinders. I usually look at pepper grinders. Sometimes they can be worth money. I don't think that one is. Though. I have had pretty good luck with pepper grinders. Though. The good ones. This is pretty great. <laughs> hmm. Little box here. Maybe. I don't know. It's only $4.50, but I don't feel like I really need it. I think we're going to go check out the lamps, which we missed the last time, believe it or not. I somehow missed the lamps. Didn't even look at them the last time I was here, and I don't know how it happened. Look at this. Is that a lucite? I mean, it kind of is. It's a pretty, pretty sad looking one, though. <laughs> oh, boy. There is a giant Wedgwood Queensware lamp. Holy smokes. What is happening right now? Should I just grab it? I don't know, how heavy is it? It does have a crack, it looks like. Oh, it's not that heavy. It is a Wedgeware, Wedgeware, Wedgewood Queensware. And it does have somewhat of a chip that goes all a crack all the way down to here. I may have to look up comps on this, but I suspect it might not be worth it because it's gonna cost quite a bit to ship. It's heavy, it's large, and now it is a cool lamp, but I just don't know. All right, so I looked up comps on this lamp and it sells for about $120 without that crack. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it's cracked from both sides, so I think I'm going to put it back, unfortunately, just because of the cracks. Um, if it didn't have the cracks, I might be tempted to hold on to it, but with those cracks, I'll, I, I'll leave it here and someone else may grab it and put it in their home. And this is actually really cute and it kind of reminds me of Fitz and Floyd. And I'm not sure if it is. I don't see any markings on it. It's thin like Fitz and Floyd. The design is kind of Fitz and Floyd-like and it's $3.49. So I might grab that, this. As I was walking by, I was like, wait a second. That looks like Fitz and Floyd. And it's a bird. <laughs> So, all right. All right, well, let's check out the purses, shall we? I like this one, <laughs> not that one. Wait, no, it is the same purse, darn it. <laughs> it's a Frito, actually. I really like the pattern here, but I feel like the Frito thing is just a little bit too anime for me. Not that I don't like anime, but I really liked this here. And then I was like, whoa, look at that and those big eyes with the monkey. I don't know if I'm here for all of that. So unfortunately, <laughs> that's not really my jam. This, I love this. I would use, I mean, I would, would use that. And I don't know if that's like made in Peru, maybe. That's a really fun piece. I, f I love the colors. I, I'm here for the colors. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? It's like a Hawaiian purse. That is kind of a canvas one. That one's kind of nice. Let's check it out. What does it say on the inside? It says, Levenger. I don't know what Levenger is. Is this like a tool tote or something or just a tote in general? Maybe we should look that one up. It feels good, like it feels like it's got some quality to it, so I'm willing to give it a shot. All right, so that one looks pretty promising. This one sold for 25 and then it kind of goes up from there. Although none of them are really that tan color. I mean, it's clean, it doesn't have any stains or anything on it. I think this is the closest one to the cream. A tan canvas, 25, but I mean, it could go all the way up to 45. I like to, when I'm looking at comps, I like to look at the low to mid. I don't usually set myself up for the highest comps. So, all right. Um, I'm not really seeing many others that, sorry, sweetie. Um, let's see here. All right, I will get back to you if I find another one. 
All right, so I have ventured into <laughs> the furniture and the book section, even though Andrew is not here with me. I like it. It's very mid-century. I think it's a good one. I know it's 1449, but I got the vibes on this piece, so I think we're going to do it. Iveno, or Ivens. Um, six, 1966. It's kind of like textured, but look on the back. Abstract. R. Evans, Vogelsangstrat, Antwerp, Belgium. Oh, it's fancy. It's one of those fancy. Look, six, sixty-five dollars or six hundred and fifty. One of those. There's also this watercolor that I'm just kind of eyeing up, but I don't know. This. Wait a second. I like this. What is this? I mean, I know it's clay. It's kind of a nice clay piece. It's a clay horse mirror. Oh, unfortunately, it's broken. If it wasn't broken, I probably would. I would probably get it. But unfortunately, the tail is broken off the horse. Okay, I think we're good with this. What is it? Oh, it's praying hands. These are fancy praying hands, though. I feel like I deserve that point. I get a point for that. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna go put it on the shelf for them. I'm gonna help them out. I'm just pretend I work here. Thank you for stopping at Goodwill and have a great day. I'm not sure what just happened, but there are bags of children's toys in here, and I just pulled this one out, and I have this little bell. So Joel and Smart made in Russia. That's crazy. Also, there was a piece of jewelry in here. You see it? In there? Also, free nail clippers. Those of you who watched the live where my kids came in looking for the nail clippers know that we are hard up for nail clippers. I feel like I just solved that problem. I like those. A set of four dessert plates, and they've got a dreidel on them. Those are pretty neat, but you know what? I think I'm gonna leave them for someone. Oh my gosh. But they come with salt and pepper shakers. Oh, those are so cool. Those are so cool. I'm obsessed with those. <laughs> oh man. I feel like I just need one set of salt and pepper shakers and one set of dessert plates to be listed together. I'll leave the rest. Don't need it all. Hey, look, there's the teapot that goes with that platter. They go together and they're separated on the shelf. Oh, look, there's, okay, I want to see who made this. I'm gonna pull it. Let's see, who makes it? Worcester Herbs, made in England. Rosemary, I think it's made to look like the Port Marion stuff possibly vice versa I don't know all right well I think we did pretty well today and I think we are going to call it a day I'm pleased with that I mean I got some Legos I got a little Russian girl she's adorable I got a dreidel my dad will be so proud <laughs> I'm thrilled all right well this lighting is not the most flattering but in our total spend there was $66 I feel like we got some fantastic stuff. I am so thrilled with the artwork and finding that little bell in that bag of toys. We're gonna get out of here. I gotta drive back to the shop about an hour and 15 minutes from home. So I will see all of you tomorrow. So long, farewell, bye-bye. Before I end this video, I just wanna say that I'm not sure that this bag is going to make it onto eBay because of how functional it is. They no longer wrap and bag things, and I could stick all of my little, like, treasured things in the side, and I knew they were padded and safe, and I'm like, you know, I may be using this as my thrift and bag. I might even buy a few more of these, because this is fantastic. Anyway, I just want to point that out. That's great. It's got all the little side pockets. Fantastic. All right, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.